Hi my loves and welcome to my channel. My name is Erica. This is Gypsy Cowgirl Tarot. I am a psychic medium and a prophetess. So if you are new here, welcome in my loves. Okay, we are High Vibe Tribe. This is the Pillar of Light channel. We are light warriors. It's not to say that we don't have our, you know, shadow side, right? But we are definitely of the light here on this channel. Okay, so welcome in my loves. This is going to be just a real quick message from um from a divine masculine energy here um this is someone who this is how you're going to know it's your message or not um you know you may resonate with the title right but um you know which more than likely means this is your message right but you know you never know right this is someone who um they gave up too soon this is someone who gave up on the, on this connection too soon. They, you know, it was ego, right? And stuff that they were, you know, dealing with, but they gave up too soon um, because in a way, what I'm getting is like, this is someone who thought that they could do better. I don't know if it's better than you or if it was like just this situation, like maybe, um, you know, I'm getting like the word one, two, three on the timestamp. I'm getting the word logistics, right? So maybe this is someone who, you know, didn't want children at the time, right? Maybe they just were like, no, I don't ever want to have kids, right? And maybe you were like, well, I'm open to having children, you know? And maybe that was like, maybe that put a lid on it. You know what I mean? For this person. And this is just an example, or maybe there was long distance between you guys, you know, and maybe this person was just thinking very logically, like, I don't, you know, how's this going to work? You know, I'm not going to pick up my life and, and go to you, you know? So I just think, you know, that they, um, and for some reason I keep hearing the word kibosh. It put a kibosh on it. It put a kibosh. So maybe some of you guys maybe use that word or I don't know, maybe your person says this word or I have no idea, but I'm getting that word kibosh. And that's not even that like, when things come through like this, it's, it's, it's funny because it's nothing I say. It's not things that it's words I know, but it's not how I talk. It's not things that I say. So, um, so it put a, it put a kibosh on the situation, but this person, they gave up too soon. They regret that. They've regretted this ever since. Okay. So let's just get some, let's just get a message really quick. We're already almost three minutes in. So no, it's not the right time. Yeah. See, look, and then manifest. This person said, no, I, I'm not, I'm not manifesting with you at this time. They, they put a kibosh on it. Um, manifest, tell the universe exactly what you want. This person was lying to themselves. This person actually wanted you. This person really wanted you with the bee here. You know, bees are all about hard work, community, things of that nature, right? Queen bee energy. This person knew that you were a queen bee energy. That's why they took tail. They weren't ready to be with someone like you, you know? And when I say I can do better, like this person thought like maybe they could do better. It's like their ego, right? This person, they thought that they were like hot shit. This person thought like they could get like any person they wanted. Um, maybe they are that kind of person. Maybe that's why they think that, right? Maybe because maybe they're really good looking and good personality or, you know, I don't know, you know, you know, but this is something where this person is used to getting what they want and getting their way with people and with situations and things like that. This person is a really good manifester. They are a master manifester, which is why they, you know, we're, we're kind of having this energy about them of, you know, basically like they're the ish, you know, they're the shit. Like, you know, you're lucky to have me. Like, what do you bring to the table? I can tell you what I bring to the table. You know, it was like that. Maybe you were someone in your life at that time when maybe you were going through a, a hardship or maybe, you know, you had, were going through like a transitional phase in your life or something of that nature, right? Maybe you had just recently lost a job and you were like in a transitional phase of work, right? This person held that against you. This person judged you upon these things. Um, I'm also getting that for some of you guys, people gossiped about you. Um... Going back to the B and the word community, like if you guys happen to know like maybe mutual people or, you know, you know, I don't know, just know some of the same people, acquaintances that, you know, that kind of thing. 
Um, this person, I don't know if they were like asking about you or if people, it feels like some people just like stuck their nose in where it didn't belong kind of a thing. Um, they, you know, spoke, gave their two cents, even though no one was asking for their pennies. Um, and I do feel that for some of you guys, they try tarnishing your name, your image. Um, and this person believed it. This person, you know, they were just easily swayed by, you know, just low vibrational stuff that they naturally were swayed easily by low vibrational energies, people, right? Um, gossip, that's low, very low vibrational to gossip. Look at, look at that. As I'm saying this, as I'm talking about like these people and like what happened and like just how this person is like kicking themselves. This person like, they, they wish that they had a time machine. This person wishes they had a time machine. They wish they could go back in time. They wish that they could redo everything all over again. And like, you know, not listen to other people. They were liars. These people were liars. But also, this person feels like a liar. It says, be careful of someone sneaky. This person knows that, you know, they, they lied to you possibly. Or they, maybe they're embarrassed. This, this feels like embarrassment. This feels like someone who's embarrassed because they lied to themselves. Do you know what I mean? This person, it's like, it's like they know that you know that they lied to themselves. So they're embarrassed. They're they're ashamed. There's this high level energy of shame here. All right, let's see what else comes through. <laughs> Divorce. And then look at this, the yes card. And then let go. Okay, so and then gold digger. Commitment. This person is ashamed and embarrassed because for some of you guys, this person they went for, you know, when you're in a lower vibration like that, right? You obviously were too high vibrational for this person at the time. They started backpedaling. They started thinking of every excuse in the book as to why this won't work, why they can't, you know, maybe date you or see you, you know, and they didn't have the cojones to just step up and say it, right? So instead they started crawdadding. They started crawdadding backwards, right? And that has backfired. They're their backup backfired, okay? Um, this person is, they went for low hanging fruit and turns out that this person, for some of you guys, I feel like you knew this and I feel like for some of you guys, you warned this person. You mentioned something to this person um, about maybe someone they were dating or, you know, maybe it was, maybe they went back to an ex-partner and maybe, you know, this ex-partner, like, you know, promised the world times 10, I'll change, things will be different, you know, da, 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 right? And maybe you were like, just as a friend even, right? Just, I don't buy it. Like, I can tell that this is going nowhere. Like, you know, I don't want you, I don't want you to get hurt. Like, you know, whatever it is. But anyways, this person, they, ended up with this kind of energy, just, you know, a very pretentious, you know, fake, you know, kind of energy. Now, another thing that I'm getting is that this person, okay, they may have pegged you, okay? Again, going back to maybe you were like in a transitional phase of your life. Maybe you were like, I don't know, I don't know, but everything I said about that, right? <clears throat> okay, this person feels, again, they deceive themselves. Seven of Swords energy all over this right here, okay? Um, they want your money and then it's also about being used. Okay. So this person, for some of you guys, pegged you as a gold digger. They felt like maybe you were an opportunist or that's what they were used to is people who were, that's what they were used to. And that's what they projected upon you. They were used to liars and deceivers and they were used to gold diggers and opportunists, okay? So this person may have wealth or they just work hard. I work hard for my money, right? Or they just, you know, or they're a hard worker, an entrepreneur, you know, maybe they just, you know, run a, biz run a business, head of a company, or they're just like in a really, uh, like, like a good position with their job, okay? Like they oversee people is what I get, like a leader, very emperor vibes for sure. All right, so they ended up with someone or something in situations, let's just say that. They ended up in situations that did not serve them whatsoever. Maybe they learned lessons, okay, which that is serving them, that is serving them. Um, but for the most part, it feels like uh, 
you know, the whole revolving door thing where they were just going, you know, kind of like in circles. Anyways, this person is, and then look at, you have the yes card and the no card. So the ladybug speaks of like wishes coming true. Um, it can mean like birth of a daughter or just birth in general, uh, announcement of pregnancy. Um, it is about luck. It's a very good omen, very good sign. Luck is on your side, see? Uh-huh. Um, this person does view you as someone who is very like lucky. Um, they feel like you're, you know, like you, like life just flows for you. Like you just kind of just dance through <laughs> life, I think. Um, but it's because you're aligned is the reason. Okay. You, you become more aligned since you guys parted ways. Um, this person is experiencing a breakup. Okay. Maybe they are parting ways with just their old behaviors, player ways, you know, player quote player ways. Um, meaning they just didn't want to be tied down. They really like valued their freedom, you know, do what I want when I want that kind of a thing. They're used to associating, you know, being with someone as a prison. So they, you know, whatever. This person was definitely harboring, right? Some like dark darkness, um, dark feelings, darkness, you know, just trauma, stuff like that. Okay. So anyways, whatever, there's some kind of commitment that is going bye-bye. All right. Um, this person regrets ever, ever, ever letting you go. And then look, see someone else, <laughs> you, you intuitively know this. I feel like, right. Yeah. You intuitively know this. This person is listening to their intuition. The red flags that you ignore will come back to bite you later. Yeah. This person, um, it's almost like they knew the whole time that every decision they've made since you guys parted ways was not a good decision for them. Like it's like, as they were making these decisions and choices and like living it, they like knew, they knew like, this is not good for me. I shouldn't be doing this, you know? And then they did it anyways. Okay. Yeah. And it created a lot of challenges. See, for some of you guys, there is distance. There is, that was part of the challenge. That was part of a block, if you will. This person was not opening up their heart entirely because they were thinking very logically. All right. That's why they regret it. That's why they regret it. Um, so anyways, my loves, this is what I have for you. I, I said this was going to be like a pretty short message. Um, I send you guys all love and light. If you want to book a reading with me, um, a general reading, passive Akashic reading, or, you know, uh, I have like a few different options so you can find them all down below. <laughs> I'm like, I have a few different options. Um, and then also right now I'm going to be closing it up this next week though. Um, is my one-on-one -on -one private tarot lessons. Everybody is loving them. Um, if you are, uh, one of my, uh, clients where you're doing tarot lessons or, um, the spiritual mentoring with me, um, I would love a comment. I would so appreciate it. Um, but absolutely don't feel like you have to, <laughs> um, if you feel guided to, but anyways, um, all the information is down below details, packages, pricing, individual pricing. Um, but if you feel guided to become a reader or just to learn the tarot, maybe you want to start your own business, a channel, a platform thing. Um, or maybe you just want to, you know, I don't know, maybe you want to open up like a psychic shop, you know, have like a brick and mortar place. I think that is so cool. I really want to do that too someday. But anyways, um, I, if you've been with me for a while and you guys already know how I, who I am and how I read and, you know, just my, my strengths is my, my psychic ability and my mediumship, um, my ability to connect and channel and, and, you know, all the things, right? Um, so I, I trust that more than anything, right? So the cards are basically just, you know, confirmation a lot of time. Okay. So that's how I teach you guys to read and basically just assist you in connecting to your own spiritual gifts. And if you don't really want to like learn the tarot, but you, you know, and we will be doing like, like this will be activating for you. Um, we will be connecting to, we will, we'll be opening you up more. Okay. Um, anyways, if you don't want to do the tarot, but you want to like still mentor with me, work with me on a spiritually based level. Um, everybody's really loving that too. You know, who's doing the spiritual mentoring, um, just, you know, do spiritual mentoring, same pricing instead of the tarot lessons. So anyways, all right. I love you guys. So <laughs> it's my honor to, you know, be working with you guys. I truly, truly appreciate it. Um, you know, I, I, I appreciate the fact that you guys are, um, you know, whether you're tuning in, watching readings here on the channel or taking tarot lessons or booking a reading or whatever it is, right? 
you're following your intuition and that is so important and i i talk about that non-stop here so anyways knight of wands oh my gosh so much passion the devil this person is obsessively thinking of you obsessively wanting to talk to you obsessively just thinking of you you're on their mind non-stop non-stop on their mind non-stop look there it is there's the seven of swords remember okay so this per i was right this person is it's like they full on are seeing through their own illusions they're seeing through their own illusions they're seeing that you were the one like you were it the whole time you were it the whole time look at this they chose wrong they chose the wrong cups they had interferences they were you know it, it was for some reason I mean, they were blindsided so i don't know maybe they maybe something happened um to create a divorce or a breakup i don't know you know uh there's been a sneaky energy coming up in readings like something is found out you know cats out of the bag a secrets are revealed um because of like neptune going retrograde and, and everything else it it created energy in the collective of um you know the the universe made things known to people okay so you couldn't hide things anymore all right so anyways they 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 know um again following their intuition they know that they they held back and kept these secrets you know um and for some of you guys maybe they did lie about something and or they held secrets with it i don't know but if there's something here about them like scared about you finding something out i don't know I want to I want to talk to you and tell you before you find out from someone else I don't know I don't know what that is but anyways they also feel like you you know high priestess that you see through you know that you see easily through their deception like you could see through the things that they of, of them that they couldn't see of themselves you know what I mean and they feel like that's like you know really powerful all right let's get one more it's the moon and then the three of pentacles They've been hiding the fact that they that they want to clock that they want to build something here with you in life Th that they want to work towards the ten of pentacles with you you know i love you so much it hurts that's that's what i'm getting i love you so much it hurts it's the church yeah it's about marriage family values structure you know it's also about programming collective consciousness belief systems so you know for some of you guys they let you know belief systems get in the way they let you know, maybe religious beliefs. So maybe like you're a very spiritual person and, you know, they judged you upon that and they, they ended something, you know, maybe they thought, you know, their family wouldn't accept it or, you know what I mean? The Fox. Yeah. See, they have their own self, self interest. This is just, uh, you know, the breaking free of very toxic, tense cycles here. Okay. And the geese. All right. You guys know how I feel about the geese and it's backed by the freaking soulmate twin flame right here look at this so what i was going to say is you guys know how i feel about the geese the geese represent um soulmate energy twin flame energy for me and I've, I've been talking about seeing birds in pairs so it doesn't matter what kind of bird if you see birds in pairs right now no so if you see geese no this person is um they're moving th this person is coming in like for sure like this person you know this could be even like you know for some right dm runner all that right but this person feels like you're, you're the one, like you're, you're their soulmate. Deep soul connection, blooming love, a pair of things, the one soulmate twin flame. This is also the, the geese speak of migration. Okay. They, they're cyclical. They always return back. They always return back. Right. It's also about relocation. Remember earlier about relocating. See, this person is seeing things in a whole new light for sure. So anyways, I love you guys. Thank you so, so much. I will see you soon. Get ready for all of the rest of the mid-month zodiacs coming up, um, plus a lot more readings, you guys. I have so many downloads, <laughs> so many downloads. Sorry, my hair is like a little cray-cray right now. So many downloads that are just coming through, coming through, coming through. So I need to like, whoosah, and like get them out to you guys. So anyways, namaste, my loves. Mwah. Bye.